the 50% crop restraint for photos to be entered into the wildlife and focus contest for 2021 means that as photographers, we can use a reliable tool to make sure that when we crop an image, we remove no more than 50% of the pixels that were in the original image when it's cropped. We're going to show you how to do that with Lightroom and with Excel. The first step in this process is to create a template image and for the for the purposes of this exercise, we're going to use Photograph of Grebe. And we've chosen this one because if you're using more than one camera for the contest, your template photographs should be photos taken with the camera which has the least number of pixels on the sensor. It makes the cropping process much, much um, easier. So. We're going to use this as our template photo. And the first step here is to create a collection. And we're going to call this collection 4x6. We want to make sure that we do not place this uh, inside a different collection set. It wants to be standalone for us. And then we're also going to make sure that we include the selected photo, our grebe, and set this collection as the target collection. Hit the Create button, and you'll see our little 4x6 uh, crop collection pops up right here. Now, the critical part of this process is determining how many pixels are on the long axis of these images when we crop them such that we don't remove more than 50% of the pixels that were in the original image. And this information area will pop up in Lightroom generally when you open it. However, if it doesn't, hit the I button on your keyboard and this information will appear. So in this image, there are 5,568 pixels on the long axis, 3,712 on the short axis. So how much can we crop to make sure that there's still 50% of these pixels in this image after we crop it? And here's where the Excel spreadsheet comes in handy for us. So this image was shot with a D500. And the effective megapixels on that camera sensor is 20.9. We enter that value and the spreadsheet will return to us the number of pixels on the long axis for a four by six crop that will return 50% of the pixels that were in the original image. So again, 39.59 for a four by six. Now you'll see this number on the long axis changes as the crop ratios change. We have five different crop ratios um, in this spreadsheet for you. Now you're not, cons not constrained at all to these crop ratios, but they're commonly used for printing and it's a great place to start. So for us, the critical number is going to be 39.59 on the long axis of our, our uh, template photograph of the grid. I'm going to come back to Lightroom, go over to the Develop module, hit the Crop Overlay, make sure that we have this little lock locked, which means that we're constraining the image, constraining the ratio and we're going to make sure that we crop it to a four by six. So now we can begin just making this crop area smaller. And the number we're looking for here is 39.59. So this is a bit more than 50% of the original pixels in the image. <clears throat> 39.59. 39 is pretty close. It's a, it's a touch more than 50%, so we'll use this. Now, at this point, we're going to use this again as our template image, but we want to be able to discriminate it easily when we have other images in a collection, which, which we are going to uh, crop using this as our template. So we'll make this photograph black and white. All right, so we're ready to start cropping other images. So I have a couple of uh, photographs here we'll use as examples. And we are going to add these to our target collection. First one and the second one. We will add these again to our target collection. Now we'll see that in the target collection there are three images. And those are our black and white grid. And this picture from 
Price Canyon and an abandoned farmhouse not too far from the ward. Now, we want to crop all these using this uh, template. And so what we'll do is we're going to bring up the template, make sure that it's highlighted, and then control click on the other two images, go over to the develop module again in Lightroom and tell it to sync them. The only um, parameters that we're going to sync will be the crop. We'll synchronize those. And we'll see when we pull these up that this crop ratio that was on our template image is now superimposed upon our two uh, target images. And we, we can move this uh, crop area around. We can make it larger, but generally we're not going to be able to make it any smaller. So th this is telling us that right at 50% of the pixels in the original image are contained in this crop area. And we can check that against the, the information we have in the Excel spreadsheet. For example, this image was shot with an icon Z6. So we'll come back over to our spreadsheet, pull up the Z6 tab, and we'll see that if there are 4,287 pixels on the long axis of a photo that's cropped 50% uh, with, with an icon Z6. We'll come back to our image. 4287 is our number here. We'll see that there are 4297 on this long axis. So we know that this image has been cropped such that there, there are at least 50% of the original pixels in the image. Back to this photo of Bryce Canyon, 5,877 pixels on the long axis. This was shot with an icon D850. Five thousand eight hundred and three is our target number. We have five thousand eight hundred and seventy-seven. So we know again that at least fifty percent of the pixels that were in the original image are contained in this image as we've cropped it. So this is a super strategy. It'll work for you every time. Now at this juncture, I'm just going to click here. So I'm highlighting none of these images. I'll click on this one, and I'm going to remove it from the collection and this image and remove it from the collection. Those two images still are in the original place where we imported them into this collection, but we removed them so that the only image left in our four by six target collection is our template image. It's a great way to make sure that you, you have these photographs cropped correctly. We'll make copies of the spreadsheet available to any of the participating photographers. If you'd like them, all you have to do is contact Marissa Ford and we'll make it available to you. Thanks for watching.